So, close and welcome to everyone. We are the Caribbean tribe, and we are very happy to welcome all of you here to celebrate the Earth Day with us. Sitting with Caribbean by her altar, she spoke very clearly about what it means being activists for our earth, sacred activists. Caribbean is a goddess so firmly connected to the earth. Her ways are the ways of nature. She is the supreme sewing ride, the wise woman. Her connection with the earth and with nature inspire us every day. Following her vision, the vision she gives to us, we want to take this evening our passion, our strength, our love of justice on, beha on behalf of our beloved Earth. We human race aren't so kind with our mother. We human race are doing something on our Earth, on our very home, that should never be done. Scientists all over the world, researchers, are warning us, it's years they are warning us, of the effects of our behavior, of our actions, of the effects of pollution, deforestation. and all the other problems that human activity on this planet has as an impact. We have to become aware of what our action brings to our planet and upon us. Caribbean inspires us every day to bring that awareness into our conscious, to take action actual action in the world right now. So we welcome this evening with us to be sacred activists on behalf of the earth. Thank you and blessed be. <clears throat> And now I'm going to create sacred space. And what this is, is creating an energy container, which we use to do the work in, to keep our work safe and keep it protected and keep it magical. So, by the earth that is her body, by the air that is her sweet breath, by the fire that is her bright spirit, and by the waters of her sacred womb. I now declare this space to be truly sacred. Blessed be. Today we celebrate our planet, our mother, for everything that she is and everything that she gives us. In this sacred space, I call the presence of Keridwen, goddess of the earth, Kroiso Keridwen, protectress of the earth, mother of death, rebirth, transformation and abundance. In this earth day, we call you we celebrate you for everything that you gift us every day of our lives. You are the goddess of the earth that provides us with the nourishment that we need to sustain our lives and to walk 
your sacred land. We meet you in the dark caves of the earth as dark mother, keeper of the cauldron of initiation. We breathe you in as goddess of hair, fresh hair that gives us life, inspiration and purification. We dive deep into the mysteries of magic, of healing, with all the medicine of your herbs, powerful allies of earth. We feel your power like the volcanoes that are magical alchemy between the elements, the earth herself and fire of transformation. You are pure, genuine love, the heartbeat of our planet that pumps energies everywhere we go. We feel your softness when the earth is wet under the rain, as the rain nourishes us, our bodies, our food. You are the mother that provides our food, life, support, growth, and change. We stand here, Keridwen, at the center of the spiral of the path that each and every one of us takes to celebrate you, to ask for forgiveness, as many of us forget how deep and strong is the connection that we have with you. Keridwen, goddess of earth, we breathe you in. <sighs> Hail and welcome, Keridwen, goddess of earth. Hail and welcome, Keridwen, goddess of earth. Blessed be. Blessed be. Croiso, on the 22nd of April, 1970, in the United States, we first celebrated the Great Earth Day to remind everyone that we cannot take our mother for granted. I wasn't present then, I was only a baby, but 23 years later, I stepped onto the pagan path and from then on, it, may, it was a mission for myself and my brethren all over the UK and other countries to celebrate this day and to remind people that the earth does not have a plan B. Long before people like Greta Thunberg, whom I greatly admire, have we stood on the highest Mount Snowden in the absolute howling wind and created magic to protect the earth. We have stood by the shores of Llinivan Vach. We have st stood on the cliffs of Bryn Kevin and all over the world have we stood together hand in hand in order to protect our mother. We have celebrated and we have made promises. We have spoken of plastics that we are no longer going to use, of recycling long before it was trendy. Unfortunately, I still see too much that is not right in the world. And sometimes there is that space in me that is despair and anger and misunderstanding people who just don't understand that you can't just chuck things in the bin, in the floor, on the floor on the earth, sorry, instead of on the bins. But I also know that when we do ritual, when we do ceremony, when we remind people that there is a way to do things without harming our mother, that we are creating magic, that we are sending out the magical intent to leave this earth behind when we go, when we go back to where we came from, Mother Earth, and that we leave it in a better time, a space that for our children and our grandchildren, then we were left it. 
So I'm hoping that today as we are doing the magic and looking back at all the days that I stood with all different people holding hands and making that promise, that we will move forward into a better place, that the magic that we're creating tonight is going to be powerful and meaningful and that all of you who are with us today and who are watching us on Facebook, that you will all do your part of creating a better world for future generations. There is only one world, there is only one Mother Earth, and we are called, all of us, to protect it. So mote be, blessed be. I am now going to lead you on a meditation to connect to the heart of Mother Earth. Please make sure that you are in a comfortable position. Relax and listen to my voice. I invite you to close your eyes or lower your gaze to the floor. Bring awareness to your natural breath and the rising and falling of the belly. Feel the place where you sit and the points where your body touches. Shoulders, back, buttocks, backs of the legs and feet. In your mind's eye, I invite you to bring awareness of being in a beautiful springtime garden. Use your senses to make this real. What do you see? What do you hear? What do you smell? And what do you feel? This is your garden. It is a safe place and you may fill it with flora and fauna that pleases you. I invite you to move through your garden and following your path, you come to a gate. Before you pass through the gate, take a look around for a guide to accompany you. If no guide is there, I offer black crow. If you become uncomfortable at any point in this meditation, you can ask your guide to bring you back to this garden. I now invite you to open and pass through the gate with your guide. You find yourself on a woodland path. And if it is night time, you may ask your guide for a lantern to illuminate the way. Passing along the woodland path, you find yourself at a small entrance to a cave. Besides this entrance, there stands a woman. This is Keridwin, as she shows herself to you. She indicates for you to enter the cave. And if you don't already have one, you find a lantern waiting for you 
to light your way. Stepping through the entrance, you find yourself in a narrow passageway. What do you see? What do you hear? What do you smell? What do you feel? Along with your guide, you slowly walk along the passageway. From time to time, you notice objects upon the wall. These may be seen, felt, or heard. Take notice of these things as you pass them. The passageway gradually widens. The walls curve and you are aware of being in a labyrinth. Step by step, moving towards the center. At the next turn of the passageway, you become aware of a faint vibration in the rock. The vibration becomes stronger with each step. And soon you become aware of a rhythmic sound. As the vibration and sound increase, you find yourself within a large chamber lit with a reddish glow. One wall of the chamber is thin and translucent. And it is from this wall that the sound, light and vibration are coming. This is the heart of Mother Earth. Mother Earth's heart is enclosed in a protective membrane, just like your own heart sits in a protective bag within your chest. You are aware of the movement of Mother Earth's heart behind the membrane. Fascinated, you sit on the ground, close to the membrane, where you can experience her beautiful heart. Can you feel the vibration of her heartbeat? Can you hear it? You become aware of threads like tiny roots growing from the heart membrane towards you. These threads grow and cocoon you in the love of Mother Earth. From your own heart space, threads grow 
and reach out to merge with those from Mother Earth. Joined at your hearts, you allow love to move between you. Feel her love for you. And allow your love for her to increase. The threads between you begin to fade and you are released to prepare to return. Save for one thread that binds you together at the heart. This thread you take with you. Giving thanks to Mother Earth, you pick up your lantern and follow your guide back the way you came through the labyrinth. Cool air greets you at the entrance to the cave and you find yourself once more at the garden gate. Thanking your guide, you pass through and taking one last look around, knowing that you can return to this space at any time you allow the garden to fade. Once more become aware of the place where you sit and the points where your body touches. Feet, backs of the legs, buttocks, back and shoulders. Bring awareness to your natural breath and the rising and falling of the belly. And in your own time, make gentle movements into fingers and toes. before opening your eyes, stretching and becoming fully aware of the here and now. Blessed be. Now that we have connected to the heart of Mother Earth, what can we feel? What would the Earth say? What would the Earth do if she could speak to us? If we could hear her voice? What would she say to us? try to channel what could be voices coming from the earth and now you will hear our conversations with the earth her voices and our voices the first voice I would like to let you hear Is the voice of the crying earth. 
As we saw in that video, there was a lot of destruction, a lot of bad things going on in the earth right now, going on to the earth. But it is important for us not to lose hope. It is important for us to know that we can be the change. It is up to us to be the change. And everything that we do matters. Even the smallest amount of recycling, of growing your own food, of doing all the things that you can do to help the earth. Everything that you do matters. The most important thing is not to do nothing. Everything that you can do to protect the earth is important, but it is up to us to act and to act now. Thank you, Asidve. Excuse me just one minute. We are the tribe of the goddess Caridwen. We are her sisters and priestesses. In this day, the 22nd of April, the world celebrates the Earth Day. We would like to give our tributes of love and deep gratitude to our beautiful planet, to show the awe and reverence and respect that we feel in our hearts every day, looking at the bounty and the beauty all around us. Earth is a mother planet. It is the very womb that sustains all life and that cradles all death. 
in perpetual balance. We are children of the goddess Caridwen, a goddess who roams the earth in perfect symbiosis with nature and her cycle. As her children, it is to us of capital importance to be in harmony with nature, as well as to rise in her defense. This is a need for every one of us. It's an act of love and deep gratitude. It's to show that we don't take for granted all the abundance and bounty that we are given from our Mother Earth every day. We stand as her sacred activist. We stand in nerve's defense. This is a sacred activism manifesto, a Caridon tribe sacred activism manifesto for our earth. Me and my sister will share now the inspiration of the cauldron of Caridwen. The, spir the inspiration that was given to us that we want to share with you as we are one tribe on one planet. We acknowledge that all beings are children of the earth. They have equal rights to be here. The earth is the body of the goddess. It's our home. We won't stand by and watch where the greed of man destroys our planet. We will do our best to stand in defense of those who are defenseless. We'll do our best to protect our planet. So mote it be, blessed be. I am your devoted child, my beloved nature. I belong to you. I belong to your springs. I belong to your waters. I belong to the fire, to the earth, and to the wind. I declare myself to be the keeper of my land, and I will always stand for you, ever and ever, in unity and love, with all the trees, the animals, the fairies, and the spirits that lives here, from ever and forever, so much it be, blessed be. I'm a proud earth daughter. The heartbeat of the earth sings with mine as one, like drums in the forest. I'm one of the earth keepers, and with my sisters we do all our best to support and protect the earth. We put effort in the environment safety, and our voice is one with Mother Earth's voice. We fight, we stand, we are the priestesses of the land. So would it be, blessed be. I am in relationship with the earth. Mother and daughter, our hearts beat as one. I will protect, love and nurture her all my life. I will share my love of nature with all around me.
to instill that love into their hearts. That this love will enable them to love, protect, and treasure that which they love. Nature. I honour the earth that is my mother. I honour her strength, her wisdom and her sacred beauty. And I will do all in my power to protect and preserve her. So mote it be and blessed be. In honour of Pachamama, Gaia, Mother Earth, Dear Goddess of the Earth, we love you. We respect you. We thank you. We are ever so grateful for the amazing vehicle that you are spiraling through the cosmos at rapid pace. We are flowing, we are evolving. And we honor you, Mother Earth. We love you. We respect you. We thank you. Blessed be. Mother Earth, you are my sacred everything. Without you, I would not exist. I promise to do everything I can to keep you safe and healthy. In the name of Keriban, I forbid the destruction of forest and trees. I forbid the killing of animals and birds. I forbid the abuse of this wonderful planet, Mother Earth, where all beings have the right to live. Blessed be. This was our sacred manifesto. The feelings that Caribbean inspires for our earth and our hearts, for her cauldron, to which we connect every day. This is the wisdom of our sister from all over the world. So this is our commitment. This is what we, what we want to do with our hearts for our earth. But what would the earth say? if she could speak to the human race? What would the earth answer to our praises? She's heard so many, for so many times. She heard so many people speaking praises. So what would she say to us? I am the spirit of land. 
hear me now. I am ageless. Hills, mountains, valleys, ridges, forests, great plains and deserts. I am all of these and more. I am the secret of strata, the mystery of mycelia moving through me, the sacredness of soil. I am soft sandstone covered in mossy's fur. I am clay, red as blood. And I am the hardness of flint. My bones stretch deep. Womb caverns studded with gleaming rubies, precious stones of healing. I am the sparkle of diamond. I rejoice to feel hoof, claw and foot journey across my body. I remember the first feel of this and it was good. I am deep time. What comes from me will always return. I change all who sink into my embrace. I have been revered by the poets. I am sovereignty itself, married to kings who have come into power and who have disappeared through the mist which lies over my hills. I remember everything. Battles have been won and lost on my wide plains. Cities have risen and I have covered them again. Men would believe in borders, but my body belongs to no one. I have been raped and abused. There are those who would break my body and my spirit, but still, I rise again. A great shaking can come upon me, but my love is also limitless, poured out for my children. I am mother of all life, sustenance, beauty, and joy. The wisdom of the seasons unfolds through me, the richness of the dark earth is my magic. I am the greening of spring. I am the wheat growing golden in the summer sun. I am the fruits of autumn, the roots of winter. I have witnessed history and I have witnessed myth. I hold the seeds of potential. And I know that my children will sow the seeds of life through me. Love can return if they would only lay their faces against me, their heart to my beating heart. Take off your shoes, get the feel of me with your feet. Climb my mountains holding me tight and feel my life force through you. Open your senses to the damp earth and remember the scent of your mother. There is still time to remember, to come back to me, to honor the ways of your ancestors who knew and loved me so well. I am the spirit of the land. Hear my words deep in your bones. Blessed be. Croiso, dear human people, I am there. I am the breath of life that fills your life. Without me, life 
would cease to exist. And without me, the world would cease to exist. Dear human people, I have given you the great gift of being able to practice the essence to be able to listen through me your own existence. But you exploited me badly. You polluted me in ancient times and you are polluting me now in this moment. You allowed me to lose my purity. Dear people, dear human people, I, me, who purify every environment through instance or simply through your breath, which is also mine, because uh, I give you the first breath of your life. I who oh, am the first breath of life that is born. Without me, everything ceases to exist. I see you and I repeat you. Without me, life itself does not exist. Dear people, Dear human people, remember this. Remember this and please pay attention what I'm saying to you. I am the life of all. I am the first breath of your infants. Without me, all dies. Air is essential for all your lives, for all your existences. I give you the life, but at the same moment, I, I can't and I feel you the death because I don't give you the life. Without me, you will cease to exist. And remember also this, I am a center priest, but I become a destroyer. If you don't appreciate, if you don't appreciate me and create pollution in this magnificent world, Dear human people, I am the element of air and I ask you to use this immense gift that you have at your disposal with gratitude, with kindness and with respect. I am the life, I'm the breath of life, but I'm also the breath of death and I love you blessed be I am the fire I am the light bringer I am warmth and I am hot and dry for my name is fire. I am the fire. I am creator and destroyer. I am transformation. I am powerful for I am the fire. As fire, I burn bright and you will see my light. You will feel my warmth. Feel my warmth on your body as you draw close. I warm you on nights that are cold and windy. 
And when I burn really bright, I encourage you to relax in this season of summer. I am the fire. I cook your meals and I heat your herbal teas. For I am powerful. I am the fire. As fire, you will also feel my burning sting as you come too close, thinking that you can control me. Don't turn your back on fire, for I am all powerful. I am the fire, and if you disrespect me, I become angry, and when I am angry, I boil and bubble inside. I feel the molten lava beneath the earth, and it grows, and it gets angry, and the pressure builds, and I need to find a release. The lava pushes up, upward, through the earth and bursts into the sky in a flurry of flames, molten lava and smoke. And as that lava dra draws down and runs down the side of the volcano, it destroys everything in its path. Humans, you cannot control it. I say, get out of my way for I am all-powerful and you have disrespected me. I am the fire. I am also creator. I sweep through the bushland, turning the old, diseased, dead and dying into ash. For through destruction comes creation. I transform the bushland. Watch as seedlings and new growth arise, for I am transformation. I am the fire and I am powerful. I am fire. I am the transformation. I am the life bringer. I rebirth the land, but for the earth to be rebirthed and for the bushes to regrow, they need to be present. If you destroy and change the landscape of this beautiful earth, I cannot do my work of creating new growth and nourishing the land. I am the fire, I am powerful, I am the life bringer. I create land where there was no land and I create new bushland. My name is fire. So if you see me, respect me. And if you think you can control me, remember, I am the fire. Blessed be. I am the spirit of water, the voice of water. I am the source of life. There is great power in every drop of me. My voice can be very flat and gentle, spraying crystalline droplets on the dry cheeks. My voice can be like a bubbling spring running down the slopes of the mountain and rejoicing in the mornings. My voice can be soft and mysterious, hiding in deep wells where you can see your shadows. 
your secret faces. My voice can make you fall asleep tenderly, swing the fish and float the swan in the brightness of the silver moon. My voice may sound frightening as the waves bound against rocky mountain walls and shake ships in the waves. Sometimes I freeze and, and the mayam of frozen blood vessels play with my long frozen fingers and pinch the blue noses. But sometimes my soul boils over in a blue hot steam over the lands and mountains. But I always find my balance again. I flew back to my peaceful bed where I could swarm freely and where to keep my sacred soul. But now I see what is going on with our wonderful planet, Mother Earth. I see people using water energy more and more harmfully. Large factories and manufactories have been built where water has become labor and a slave. A lot of toxic waste is sent to nature, to lakes and rivers, thinking that water will clean everything. Large garbage dumps float in the oceans. Many lovely lakes have been drained and drained. Dying fish, dolphins, seals, trees and plants are drying on the banks of poisoned rivers, forests are destroyed. People in big cities have to drink polluted water, which contains harmful bacteria and disease that destroy human health. The life-giving and refreshing water has become a cup of poison and a bringer of death. There are nations that are dying of water scarcity because as a result of economic greed and overproduction, corporations have chosen to use large amounts of water only for their own benefit. The list of water abuses could be very long, and it makes me sad and hurts my soul to tears. How has it happened that free flowing water is not available to everyone, does not bring life to everyone, but can be a Deadly cocktail. But I am not losing hope yet. I am still patient. If necessary, I will teach people lessons and show them the consequences of pollution and water poisoning, how life dies if there is no clean water. But I don't wait forever. I don't wait until the last fish is dry, until the last trees and plants are gone, when the birds no longer have a drop of clean water to drink and the animals cannot find any source. I don't wait that long. I have power and strength, and I can lift up all my waters into the heavens and lay them up in great clouds. 
that one day it may rain as a wild showers. I can flow down like waterfalls and wipe from my path all the toxic and harmful that the man has built. I can end the life on earth. So that it can be reborn, bright, fresh, and loving again. Blessed be. Our sister has magnificently channeled the earth spirit has so much to say to us but that there's also so much love for us despite the way we treat our mother planet so we're going now to do a bit of a ritual part to raise energy and send it to a mother. We start with a song from one of our sisters, Renate, which I'm going to share with you with my screen. Hello, so I'm Rose from Austria. I'm in the first spiral of Kerry uh, Twen. And I got the song from Carrie Twen, and I want to share it with you. Um, yeah, I pray for our Mother Earth that we treat her in the right way and that we all come as humans um, in tune with Mother Nature. So enjoy the song. <laughs>
Thank you. Blessed be. So welcome back again. Um, what I'm going to do with you now is what we do all the time is we are going to repay Mother Earth for some of the energy that she has gifted us. And what I'd like you to do is if you have, dig out your drum. If you haven't got a drum, come and uh, use your hands and clap, sing your songs, open your mouth and cry and sing and shout. I want you to go a little bit nuts now. We're gonna raise that energy and we're going to send it into our mother earth. So one of the things I'm gonna do is I'm going to start with a drum that is going to be a heartbeat. knowing uh, Facebook, what will happen is if I go really nuts, it's just going to vanish. And I just want you to keep going whilst you see me keep going. I will then go a little bit faster. And then we're going to go totally nuts. And you can, you know, scream, shout, sing, clap your hands, be wild, go wild. We are the wild girls. And then at one moment, we are going to connect with threads of gold. Wherever you are in the world, we are going to connect ourselves with you with threads of gold, threads of energy of gold. And then we're going to send that into wherever it is needed at this moment of time. We don't direct it, God is directed. She will show us the way and the place where it need, is needed the most. So heartbeat first. If I vanish, and that can happen on Zoom, just keep going. Just ignore me and keep your own space, all right? So let's do this.
it out, send it out, send it out into the world where it's needed. Send it out, send it out. Woohoo! Send it out. Send the energy out. Send your love to the goddess. Send your passion, your excitement. Feel your heart beating as you've done the drumming. This is life. This is the life we've been gifted. This is her joy at us being here. She's not angry with us. She just wants us to be more mindful. So I hope that I could ask you to do this every day before your altar. Give it a bash and send some energy out. Give the mother back some of the energy that she needs to defend herself in a way against some others. I hope you enjoyed that. Bang, bang, bang the drum. And blessed be. When I just say a prayer, beautiful earth, you birth us, forming the very dust of our beginnings. You mother us, providing every single thing that we need. You give yourself to all and none freely, the potential to live in harmony thanks to your bounty. You shelter us, lending us parts of you to live, to work, to love. You feed us, providing lush places and the right conditions for food to grow. You quench our thirst with your wonderful rivers and streams, your vast oceans helping us to travel your depth and your bread. You protect us, making heat and shade and everything in between. You sustain us, keeping us alive, allowing your conditions to be exactly right for us to live and thrive. And at the end, just as we grew up from tiny specks of dust, our bones returned to rest in your loving heart, ready for the cycle of life to begin again. All life kept spinning by you and you alone, not us. Beautiful air, help us to remember that we are your children, not your rulers. Forgive us for thinking that you are ours to own. Remind us how to rebirth the old ways anew, restoring the harmony that is possible through listening to you. May we now shelter you from the ravages that we have wrought, calling it progress. May we respect the ways that you can feed the world with nature, rather within our, with our GM gross manipulation food. May we cease the pollution of those living waters remembering that if we do not, we will run out of time. May we protect you and those who walk this earth alongside us, remembering that you choose to share with them too, all people, all animals, all birds and fish, all plants and trees. May we vow that from today, we will wake up every single day and remember, today is Earth Day. Today we make a difference. Today we do things differently. Today we will sustain the earth so that it will, will live and thrive. So that the cycles of life can keep spiraling. All life kept spinning by air, with us playing our part in gratitude, not in selfish domination, but as loving children, citizens of one big, bright, beautiful air grateful that she's given us these chances, determined that never again will we leave it so late, to let her know that we need her and we love her and we want her to live. Blessed be. And now I'm going to uncast the circle so that we can take all the beautiful energy that all our lovely sisters have created and spread that out into the world. So, may the circle be open but unbroken. May the goddess be forever in your heart. Merry meet, merry part, and merry meet again. 
blessed day. Blessed day. I would like to thank all my sisters who have done an incredible work. I can feel Mother Earth actually being so much more happy tonight. Thank you so much. I have goosebumps from all the energy and the beauty we have raised. And I know that all this energy will do her work and will do good in the world. Thank you so much, my sisters. You are all amazing, all of you. And thanks to all of you who have been with us tonight. Thank for being with us and thank you for raising energy with us, for sharing with us our sadness, our, our longing for justice and for being sacred activists with us. Thank you so much to all of you. Blessed be. Blessed be everybody, blessed be. Thank you, Alex, for being our lead priestess. Thank you, Alex. Thank, Thank you, you, Alex. Thank you for your vision. Thank you for your creativity and to all the other sisters of Caridwen and uh, priestess of Caridwen who've been here and who've worked such a wonderful job. And uh, yeah, we will see you hopefully at the Dark Moon Ritual, everyone. Take care, bring some friends. Bye-bye. Bye and happy yeah. Earth Day. Say goodbye, girls. Bye. 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 Happy Earth Day. Happy Earth Day. Many blessings. Bye. Happy Earth Day. Bye. 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 Bye.